What up players, Wobots Tay up in this mud, and today we're gonna be painting this Lizardman Old Blood Saurus. So, <clears throat> um, I've assumed that this is probably gonna take more than one video, so we're gonna go for about half an hour, and um, because I'm gonna be <laughs> kind of doing this uh, for the first time with all of you. I'm not going to call it a how-to paint, I'm just going to call it a, um, I don't want to say let's paint because I know a lot of other people like Christopher over at AG Productions does let's paint videos and I don't want to copy that <coughs> or people to think that I'm copying him, but um, it's going to be kind of just me showing you how I would plan on painting a Lizardman army for these Saurus warriors. So. Take it or leave it, decide whether or not you want to follow it, um, but this is how I'm going to do it. So the colors that we're going to be using mainly for this first video are Hawk Turquoise, Camry Brown, Calthan Brown, and Mordian Blue. And if we have time, a little bit of Mechrite Red, you never know. So we're going to take our Hawk Turquoise first. And, um, okay, uh, hold on for a second, I gotta make a ghetto wet palette, be right back. Alright, so we're back, and we're gonna get started with Hawk Turquoise. Get a little bit better light. I'm gonna have to turn it at a funky angle so that there aren't much shadows. So, Hawk Turquoise, we're gonna put onto our little ghetto wet palette in the background. And we're gonna paint all of his skin. Uh, first thing you want to do before even painting is prime your model. So I prime my model in a dark gray primer. And if you get it on the scales, that's okay. gaming store was having a sale and <clears throat> uh, I, I picked up a whole bunch of things that weren't selling like um, th the metal croxagores and um, pterodon riders and just all sitting around waiting for me to paint them up and I'm like I can't I, I got too much stuff I don't know what I was thinking when I bought you I'm gonna have to do a lizardman project looks like I remember when I first got back into the game, I think uh, Lizardmen were right about to get re-released. And, and I was like, blue lizards, that doesn't make any sense. Lizards are green. Dinosaurs are green. They should be green. But the more I looked at them, the more I was like, eh, they can't be green. Or at least not all of them. C having chameleon skinks and stuff, that's fine, but the... Orcs and the goblins are green. Wanna mix those two up. Plus, um, I saw, I've seen some great painting schemes playing with this blue color, this turquoise blue color scheme. Um, if you guys haven't seen the Avatars of War, oh, their model, their Lizardman model. I don't know who sculpted it, but it looks so looks so good. It, it looks basically like a, a T-Rex. It looks like what a Lizardman should be. The face and the head looks so much like a like a like a T-Rex out of you know Jurassic Park. It's just amazing and I don't know when GW is gonna try to move more in that direction having a more authentic realistic lizard face and away from this more cartoony style but it looks like a T-Rex mixed with a human or like a, like an upright t-rex that is holding a giant aztec hammer you guys should really check it out avatars of war oh man what a fantastic figure 
This isn't a very good brush I'm using, it's seen better days. So I, I kind of use it as a as a base coat brush if I know that it's going over flat areas. That will get oh no! Model fell down. <clears throat> that will get covered over later. Yeah, so as you can see, the, the poster tack that I use to stick my models to my base, or to the cork, is coming a little loose. Let's see if I can get another brush. That hopefully isn't as bad. All my brushes are pretty trash. I need to get better. I, I, I need to just go out and buy new brushes, I think. Oh, I'm super stoked for uh, The Walking Dead tonight. I didn't realize that it was coming back on tonight. It's like one of my favorite shows. And it's been on hiatus for so long, I just assumed that it was going to be gone for the foreseeable future. But I love that show. It's kind of what I base my zombies on. Like, oh yeah, those awesome George Romero-esque um, Night of the Living Dead, really grotesque looking zombies. speed this is uh, along is once I get to the 10 minute mark I'm going to uh, jump ahead to when I finished all of these uh, hawk turquoise base coats I don't think you need to watch me paint all of this do you it's not very fun plus I keep going out of frame <coughs> getting in this little nook right here between the the arm, the shoulder, and the shield. So you just want to pace yourself, figure out what what's doable, look at all the angles and figure out if it's worth it trying to trying to stab your brush in there. Actually I think I'm done. I think I can move to the next part. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the scales, and that's going to be this darker Mordian blue color. You can already see just by looking at it on my wet palette that this might be a mistake. It almost looks purpley. Okay, if it is, we'll fix it later. fix it with washes and highlights. This might be a little too purple. You know what? I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. So we're just looking for all the scales. I'm 
you see a scale, just... Now, I'm using this color scheme for my... For, for, for this particular guy, of course, but... You can use it for Temple Guard, Soros Warriors... I guess the... The great thing and the not-so-great thing about these models. It's gonna paint around the around the face. The great thing and the not so great thing is that they uh most of them look really similar. So this is gonna be kind of like a uh, kind of like a a wash to the recesses for now, the purple, this Mardian blue purpley kind of tone. Alright, yeah that's not so bad, I think we can work with that. Let's take a look at our guy now, and then we'll go on to the next section. This is how he should look. So the next thing we're going to be painting are the straps and the gold. Just this little piece on the inner side of the shield there. Okay, for the gold and the straps, you're going to be painting Calton Brown. Okay, so to shave off some time, I've um, started painting the Calton Brown. So let me show you where I painted it. On these armor plates along the back and the gold claw foot the belt. The armor plates on the front, this one's going to be kind of hard to reach by the left leg because it's under the shield. Um, all of the ornamentation. I think this is a skull, so we're gonna have to repaint that in a bit. I'll show you what we're gonna do for that. But yeah, all of the all the metallic or all of the pieces that look like ornamentation is gonna get the Calvin Brown treatment. So let's continue. like I said, so... So these straps right here hooking the armor to our old blood are gonna get painted. I think you have less of these in the, in the Temple Guard kit, so... For those of you who are painting your temple guard alongside me, just, you know, disregard any steps that don't apply to you. At the same time as we're painting the Calton Brown metallics, we're also going to be looking at what needs to be painted in bone colors. And we can start painting those right now with Kemri Brown is going to be our bone base. So I'm going to take some Kemri Brown out at the same time. And for example, like these uh, talons on his feet. Starting from the bottom, working our way up. This little skull thing. I glued this guy on wrong. The skull that he's supposed to be standing on is uh, floating off the ground. I'll have to go in there with some um, <laughs> with some flock and modeling ballast and cover that up. That's no problem. I think the biggest thing I've learned over the years is not to lose your cool when you see something that isn't going your way. Just keep
keep on swimming. He's got lots of skulls on the left side of his body. Wanna make sure we hit all those. Once you hit the skulls with this Camry Brown, you can go back with the with the Calpin Brown and pick out the little cords that are hanging from or that are keeping the skulls suspended and tied down. I'm also going to be painting these spines. Some people don't like mixing up their steps, like they just want to go one at a time, but in this case, because we're also painting the bones at the same time as we're base, coat base coating our our browns, our Calton brown, um, I think it's okay. There's a skull on his shield, so we're painting that. Alright, now let's finish our Calton browns for the golds. Making some mistakes. Mm -hmm. If you make any mistakes, it's it's okay to go back and and uh, correct them. I try not to though at this point, but uh, I'm such a neat freak sometimes. So I'm gonna go till for the uh, till the ten minutes are up. But if I miss any, oh, I totally forgot the underside of his head. If I miss anything, then I'm going to um, continue painting up all the Calton Brown for the gold pieces and uh, finish that up before the last part of our video. I'm glad I'm finally painting this guy. I feel like he's been sitting on my shelf just looking at me and waiting to be painted up for a long time now. The 
this little nose flap. Ha! Ah, weird. These strange little details. Little flap right over his nose. Thank you, lift it up, and he's like peekaboo. Don't hate my nose. My nose is a sensitive. What? That's how lizard men talk. I'm a cold one of Saurus Warrior, all the blood. Why do you sound like Jar Jar Binks? Misa Lava to wear a gold jewelry. Alright, so I'm just about at 10 minutes, so I'm gonna cut now, finish all these uh, brown base coats, and then we'll come back for the next step. I also see a lot of mistakes that I gotta clean up that I'm totally missing because I'm painting at this weird angle, so I'm gonna go do that, and we'll see you in a little bit for the last part of this video. Alright, so now we're getting on to the last part of our part one of this tutorial. So now you can see the only area left really to paint is the base as well as the teeth and tongue and the shield. So the teeth we're going to leave, uh, what I did was I colored them black because I was trying to get black into the mouth because I realized the uh, mouth was still that light gray color so um, we're not going to worry about the teeth yet. We're going to go from the inside out. We're going to paint the tongue and we're going to paint the shield in Mechrite Red, which is going to be a really red uh, finish that we're not going to stick with, but for now it's going to be a good primary color, or a uh, beginning color to start with. So I'm going to let the black on the, sh on the tongue dry a little longer, and I'm going to start with the shield, make sure he's in focus. Focus you. There we go. It's actually okay if you get this Mac Right Red color in some other areas since the brown is going to be painted over with gold in the next video. The straps are going to be washed. There we go. There's that. It's like the black is still wet, but that's okay because Mech Red Red is just going to be a base color for the tongue. It's okay if you get it on the teeth, don't worry about it. We haven't painted up the teeth yet, so it's a mistake, or not a mistake, but it's a, just another step in the process to be fixed later. Yeah. Is there anything else we can do with the red at this point? Nope. So, we're going to take our Camry Brown, which is our bone base color, and we're going to paint the teeth now. Try 
Try not to get it on the gum line. You want the gum line to kind of either be the black of the of the um, base coat or um, one of the blue or turquoise colors. You can fix it later if you mess up though. All right. So this is our Saurus Old Blood as he is now. In the next step we're going to add shades and highlights and color in the gold and all that stuff. But thanks for watching for now. This is a good place to stop. So we're going to stop here and um, stay tuned for the next part of the video where we get into the washes and the metallics. Thanks for watching. Uh, old Blood say goodbye. Oh man, I filmed this. I filmed the other part of this video last night. I forgot how my Old Blood voice sounds. So, I'm not going to do an impersonation. I'm going to have to listen to my video. Okay, say goodbye, Old Blood. Goodbye, Old Blood. Bye.